It's like a dark cave in here. For Bruce Lindner, standing inside his pony espresso truck. Everything is covered in soot and grime. Never felt so painful. It's the place where for 24 years. This is the espresso machine. Bruce pulled shots from this vintage Italian number. It's not the lazy person's machine. And crafted something more than just coffee for his customers. If my grind is adjusted just right, I can make a superior cup of coffee for each person. Now. Boy, this is one hell of a mess. It's all gone. On Wednesday morning, Bruce returned home from his morning coffee rounds. Minutes later, smoke began rising from the engine compartment. And I thought, oh, this is bad. Pop the hood, and as soon as the oxygen hit that fire, it flared up, and it threw me back against my car. Everything untouched by fire is now ruined by smoke. From photos of his most famous customers. He, by the way, is a riot. He's wonderful. There's Mr. John Kerry buying a coffee from me. To the menu, perused by the people he loves the most, his regulars. I'm going to miss it until I get back on the road. You know, I've, I've become a part of their lives just as much as they become a part of my lives. Maybe that's why, within hours of the fire, they set up crowdfunding sites to help Bruce, raising more than $20,000 overnight. Bruce expects insurance will cover most of the damage, but this... There's almost nothing I can say to express my gratitude. ...is the biggest tip of his life. Thank you. God, thank you. Mm, the fire is still under investigation. Bruce hopes to be back in business by June. We've posted a link to one of those GoFundMe pages on KGW.com if you want to help.